G'day and welcome back to our German Sea Lions campaign, now going for the invasion of Japan. It's a little late, 1952, but we just had our victory with the Allies. There's a few weird things going on that I'm not sure about. Uh, funnily enough, Australia is fascist, this time they're called Centralist Australia, not the uh, Free Empire of the Platypus. There must be a few names for the different countries, probably depending on whether they're puppeted or not. Alright, now we landed a couple of guys, but a lot have been pushed back or something, so we're going to try and push into Tokyo and see if we can just redirect them into the port here. All right, capitulated, capitulated to the Dutch. Capitulated because Japan is still in the war against those guys. And now they own their land since we're not at war. All right, Panama want to join. And Venezuela want to join, which I'm pretty sure is the last bit we're going to need. So. Staged coups will automatically cancel. Yes, we accept them. They join the Axis. We accept Panama. They join the Axis. And we should get a pop-up in a second. Uh, we'll let everybody join the wars. I'm expecting the pop-up at the end of the day. Maybe we need one more. Looks like we do. No, there we go. Achievement unlocked. Mine is bigger than yours. So we now have 20 countries in our faction. And Japan, I would say, should be very close to capitulating. And it has 60% or less. We can't knock his unity down anymore. We already bombed the bejesus out of him. Canada wants to send an expeditionary force. We can invite South Arabia. Federation of South Arabia. Okay. Well, yeah, we're going to accept. Federation of South Arabia was was he before Amman? Cool. Well, he's in. Iraq are holding back the Japanese. Japan has almost finished taking all of Africa. We're still losing guys over the home islands, so let's go check out what's happening over there. And we wanted to redirect these guys that are running away. So that looks like 49 of them. That should be all the ones that are missing. Can't get them in there. I think that guy's just been killed. And looks like we're not allowed to redirect. Put them all on here and tell them to casually spread out. from here. Yeah, that guy got killed. It's alright. Expected some resistance in Japan. Alright, started. So they're going to retake Tokyo. We really need to stop that happening. Okay, first move is to hold the ports. Wait till the rest get in. We are going to have zero supply over there, though. Okay, well, if he's going to let us run up here, then we'll make a charge. Assume everybody else will do their jobs. Spread out to defend. We have massive superiority here still. And lose that defense. Hmm. I think he's going to lose it before we can get up there. Heavy tanks in Japan. Like he's actually running away the direction we need him to. So supply is going to be an issue that could kill us here. But if we can push down to take all of his ports in time, we might be okay. We can 
getting shot down. It's like we can't push through there like we needed to. He's going to have armour in the mountains all over the place, so I don't see it going particularly well. Alright, won the defence. These guys are way undermanned. Alright, win the defence, win the offence. That'll be fine if we can send maybe half of these guys up that way when that offensive across the river is done. Some of his guys there are weak. Alright, supply is red and yellow. More from Nagoya. These guys aren't going anywhere. They can try and cut him off. And then, I guess, head around the coast up to Nagata. So this feels like a victory if you don't look at the year. Take another port up there. And we've got these seven ready to rush down to Hiroshima. Send half this way. Something like that. Okay. Oh, he's ready to capitulate now. So, we want to take freaking everything. For some reason, we got most of the score in the end there. UK did a lot, so we got the UK on our side now. Um, liberate, satellite, puppet, satellite, take all states. Apparently we're not allowed to. We do want to take his home islands, though. Actually, we want to take... Alright, so forget about them. And take all these hard won provinces around here. What do we have? A thousand. Should probably only be allowed to spend about 500. Yep, can't get that. Or that. Alright, it's the end of our turn. I'll tell you, Britain just forces them to change government. It's probably the opposite of what we want. Democracy. God damn it. Alright. What if we just start doing some satelliting? Don't have enough points for anything. Satellite Southern China. Liberate the rest to them. Three hundred points, not gonna be allowed to do anything. <laughs> Actually we don't even want a satellite then. Can't we take or take states? Alright, whatever. Um Liberate to China. We would want to get satellite China first. Satellite the Dutch. Who's this? Phalanges Poland is going to have more points than us. Alright. Don't want to liberate. We want to satellite, so we just keep passing. Until we can, what would be the difference? Take the People's Republic, sure. End the turn. 
hope that we gain points faster than them. Looks like we will not. Just going to satellite them this turn. Alright, so we just take Sakhalin and Okinawa. And where was it? Legionary Romania liberates China. Which should be fine. Alright, we're done. Peace conference over. And that was only worth an extra 50%. <laughs> the Treaty of Nagasaki. Took one state, took 16 states. I wonder which one the Americans took. Took 17. Democratic Party, Arikan Min Saito, has been put in power in the state of Japan. Puppeted, 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 puppeted. Okay, so we end up ranked first, just above the Americans. Sort by, yeah, mostly just the Air Force because we took all his industry away. So that's the end, but I don't know. We're going to keep going for that other achievement. I want to see who we can actually declare war on. So the other people, well, actually, we won't be able to do it now because where are we going? We need to convert all of these guys, and there are a lot of them, and the UK is one of them who we won't actually be able to convert to fascists. So, yeah, I guess that's going to be the end of this campaign. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. It did drag on, and the supply issues, I think, are the next thing I'm going to have to learn about, figure out how to actually get better supply, do the infrastructure so that when you march through, you can actually do stuff. But yeah, I'm going to go play something a little bit different now. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Leave something in the comments and I hope to see you again soon. See you later.